Hello everybody, my name is Lyndon Smith. I'm the Professor in Computer Simulation and Machine Vision at UWE. So what I'd like to do now today is give a little bit of a background on the new Machine Vision Lab, which of course is in the new building, uh, which is Z-Block. And uh, it's a new state-of-the-art engineering building dedicated to uh, teaching and research. It's a facility providing space, as it says there, to learn and explore, getting you hands-on experience with the latest engineering equipment of various types and also containing a range of dedicated learning spaces. So it's a modern building as you can see and uh, it's contributing to the university's vision of promoting multidisciplinary collaborative learning and supports the uh, predicted increase in demand for skilled engineering graduates across the region. And uh, that is quite a considerable demand because uh, engineering is, of course, a, a big employer in this part of the UK, with a lot of tradition of aerospace and other types of engineering in Bristol. It's quite a nice design, I think, really, with a contemporary style and the, the modern uh, corrosion, limited corrosion uh, panels on there. Uh, really quite complements the other buildings, which is a business school opposite. And there's the entrance. So it's finished in November 2020 and uh, the building supports many different engineering disciplines in one, as it says, contemporary space. It provides different and more flexible ways of working for both our students and staff, training the next generation of engineers. And uh, the students can uh, get into, as you can see, a modern space. Uh, this is a large airy atrium in the, in the interior of the building. That's the entrance down the bottom there. Um, and they can build up the skill sets, of course, by accessing the kit used by professional engineers in the brand new state-of-the-art facilities that are built into here. They're going to get hands-on experience with engine test cells, wind tunnels, virtual reality, there's a cell, there's a cave built into that, and of course, machine vision. Now, talking about machine vision, the new machine vision lab in this building is where the students are going to get a great facility for undertaking projects and performing research. In doing this, they get a boost in the achievements and expertise of the Centre for Machine Vision. As you know, the Centre for Machine Vision, or CMV, is located in the Bristol Robotics Laboratory, the BRL, which is, of course, in T-Block at the French A campus, so really quite near to the new Z-Block and uh, easily within striking distance there. And the new vision or new machine vision laboratory, or you could call it the robot vision lab in this building, is being sponsored by Scorpion Vision Limited. Scorpion Vision is a British company supplying machine vision uh, equipment to the automation industry, working with machine builders, system builders, and developing reliable solutions to all sorts of automation related uh, vision problems for a range of industries. This, as you can see, is their logo, and uh, that's the sign that we're going to install in the new vision laboratory. So what I've got here is a walkthrough where we can approach, this is a, a VR walkthrough that was done a little while ago, uh, some time ago, but it's actually remarkably similar to how it turned out. So we're just approaching the new engineering building here in the VR simulation. And these two appear quite around the building quite a lot, these two uh, characters on the air. But uh, as we approach it, um, sorry about the jerky way I'm doing it, it's because I'm not an expert in in using this particular visualization, but uh, we're just coming out the ground level through the main entrance. And as we come through these uh, d hallways and doorways, there's a lift on the right there. We're coming into the main atrium area now, and uh, we can't really see it. Like if I turned around, we'd be able to see it. But we're just going on because what I want to do is go on to the main digital gallery, which is just through these doors up here. And if we get through these doors of the digital gallery, there will be a, a staircase we'll be able to see down into what the view looks like down in the gallery itself. Now, a lot of equipment that's been installed down here makes it look a little different to how it appears in this diagram, but um, what we can see here is, uh, is a big room. And uh, what's been installed in this room is actually a cave, just about here as a matter of fact. But around this cave are these benches that have been installed where we want to establish these cells that will comprise the Scorpion Machine Vision Laboratory. So each cell has a slightly different uh, aspect of machine vision which the students are able to investigate. So that's the fly through. If we just go on and think about these cells, um, I said we've got five of them and um, I'll just go quickly through what each of them is uh, 
addressing. So the first one is the importance of lighting in machine vision. Then we move on to capabilities and benefits of 3D machine vision. And 3D being a niche which we've developed in our lab over the last 20 odd years. Then photometric stereo, which is one of the main techniques we've applied in our lab to all sorts of sectors and industries. Number four is polarization in machine vision, another important technique. And five, AI deep learning. This is where we're letting the tiger out of the cage oh, for machine vision. I'll explain in a little bit of detail what, uh, what I mean by that. And actually, here are some cameras supplied by a company called Hick Vision, which um, supply of, it's a very large world leader in supply of cameras, and they're distributed through Scorpion Vision. All the cameras that Tesco have in their stores, for example, are made by Hick Vision. So just going through each of these in a little bit of detail. The first one, investigating the importance of lighting in machine vision. Here, the students will get a chance to use illumination under computer control uh, of various objects using a wide range of light sources. So we have different luminates, LEDs, for example, of different wavelengths, and different types of camera, near infrared and short wave infrared. And these different wavelengths of light enable us to do things like see through certain types of polymers and plastics, or get certain types of um, resistance to the effects of background light, or get good reflections from certain type, or remove the pigment the effects of pigments by going into the infrared, you get less of an influence of color, uh, depending on what you're trying to do. But lighting is an area which has traditionally been, I think, um, neglected, really, in books on machine vision and in many, and many courses, to be honest, in machine vision. But it's a very, very important aspect of the subject because without proper lighting and effective lighting, we can't do any good machine vision work. Then, talking about um, 3D machine vision, this is, I say, is a, a niche area we developed in our lab because uh, we've got two really big areas in the Centre for Machine Vision, and that's 3D vision and deep learning. But with 3D, you get range data, and you get a deeper, uh, more rich data set, which then you can use to solve all sorts of problems which are considered too difficult up to now to solve. And this is an example of a camera, that, um, a 3D camera that Scorpion is supplying. I think they're using techniques such as binocular stereo, for example. So we'll feature various 3D vision systems that we can apply to a range of industrial components of products to demonstrate the benefits. And uh, these benefits are really quite um, significant because we find that by capturing 3D data, we can do things like segment objects of interest in the foreground and remove objects, things that aren't of interest in the background, and thereby simplify the image processing and make the system more likely to work in, in the real world. We can also make uh, systems that are more robust in, in complicated situations. So for example, we can go outdoors and uh, we still find we get functionality. And that's also something where deep learning comes in to help us. So it's really the combination of 3D and deep learning that gives us really advanced functionality that enables us to undertake tasks which have been considered too difficult up to now. Then photometric stereo is a technique we developed over many years in our lab and applied it to a wide range of applications in different sectors. It's where you have one camera and a set of lights in known positions. You turn one light on at a time and take an image each time. You combine that with a lighting model to get the 3D and 2D data from the scene. So to do this in our lab, we'll have sets of visible and near infrared LEDs and a camera and lens. And of course, we need some instrumentation for turning the lights on because this has to happen at high speed so that uh, there isn't a chance for things to move generally or change in between the shots being taken. And it's very good, we found this technique, of robustly separating 3D and 2D data. So we use it for face recognition, plant analysis, and all sorts of other applications. And it uh, works very well. You can do things like on tiles that are being inspected, you can, you can detect whether you've got a molding defect or a printing defect uh, on your tile. So there's all sorts of things you can do with that. Then going on to polarization, this is another important technique where you can, you can see here we've got a, a motor pulling a, a polarizer around and changing the polarization. So we can um, change polarization to get interesting 3D and other data from scenes. And uh, to be honest with you, we've, we've got a big project going on with the center, um, the composite center, on inspecting composites during manufacture. And we find that by combining photomic stereo and polarization, we can get really useful information on any defects that are occurring during manufacture and lay down of the, of the, of the composites. So this is an exciting project and we, we've got built a new rig which combines 
both uh, you know fluid stereo and polarization and it does it quickly automatically so we can analyze components as they're being built so this has got real world applications then the important uh, final cell is of course AI where we're showing how deep learning and AI particularly convolutional neural networks can solve real world problems that have been considered too difficult up to now so we see different objects in all different angles and different lighting conditions and machine vision with deep learning gives us a power to recognize these objects where up to now it would have been too difficult to do so. So we can do things outdoors, we can do it more complicated, and this might enable robots to undertake difficult, dangerous and dirty tasks which have been considered too difficult to deal with up to now. So it's a really exciting long-term potential really. So we'll have a, a, um, a, you know, a cell rigged up with a, 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 ca a camera and a lens, and of course a high-performance PC with a GPU, where we'll demonstrate the power of deep learning. So we'll be running possibly MATLAB with the deep learning toolbox or Keras or TensorFlow and maybe even Google Colab where we can run it all online with the online GPU which is quite exciting. So this will be an opportunity for, for students to you know, tap into the exciting potential of deep learning. So the Scorpio Machine Vision Lab then at the BRLUWE it's enhancing CMV's ability to undertake the highest possible quality of research and teaching in BRL UWE, UWE. We plan to build upon our past achievements in doing this. And I think if I say so myself, over the last 20 odd years, we've, we've built up a reasonable reputation for quality in, in the lab. Uh, we were entered, for example, with a significant contribution to the 2014 General Engineering Ref submission. And here research quality was judged to be all of international standing with 75% of it being world leading or internationally excellent in terms of originality, significance and rigour. And that's on the internet, that information, if you want to look it up. And uh, we were very gratified to get that rating, and um, we, we, we want to build upon that to take research in the BRL, machine vision research, and in UW as far as we can, and, uh, and for it to be as high quality as possible. So that's a little uh, tour of, uh, of what we're doing in the new machine vision lab in Z-Block. So if you have any questions or you've got a, maybe even an industrial problem you'd like us to look at, do get in contact. That's my email address, and I'm always checking that all the time. I'll get straight back to you. Meanwhile, I expect I'll see you around and enjoy the rest of the day.